Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Life Path at number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today everyone, I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Tauruses who are watching. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Taurus, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, Taurus, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally, Taurus. But without further ado here, let's go ahead and officially begin and get started with your reading and your energy. Can we please receive a couple messages for my Tauruses, please, when it comes to this person that's making their way towards Taurus? All right, let's go ahead and take from the top here. We actually have a another card behind this message, Taurus. All right. Um, and these two are going back. We have, I realized that I left too soon as an extra. So I will refer back to that message if needed. But so far, let's go ahead and take those two. What else do we need to know here, please, for my Tauruses when it comes to their energy and love, please? All right, so we're taking that message that came out on top, Taurus. Who's this person making their way towards Taurus and how do they truly feel about Taurus? What are their true feelings and emotions here when it comes to Taurus? Let's go ahead and receive two more messages. All right, Taurus, so let's go ahead and we will actually pull another card. What I'm going to do, Taurus, is read this as an extra. I know where we stand, so don't worry. I've been meaning to take that card out of my deck because I feel like it's self-explanatory, but of course, I'll incorporate that message as well. I know where we stand, so don't worry. And we will stick with that message. All right, Taurus, let's see what we have all together. I have been through a lot, therefore, I am protective with my energy. I want to protect you. I never want to hurt you. Don't dismiss the red flags. I always cared about you more. Don't sugarcoat what's going on. And I'm tired of keeping it cool. My feelings are much louder than that. Okay, Tori, so it seems like this concerns or regards a person that you already know. Could be a, a person from the past, Taurus. And... I feel like with that past connection with this past person, you, you really did not appreciate how they did you at the end, Taurus, how they thought they could fool you or get over on you, how their true colors came out, Taurus. And of course, only take what resonates for you, but they could have blatantly shown their true colors, Taurus. It could have been a misunderstanding, it could have been something big or small, but I feel like it did affect you or it hurt your feelings or you took something personally, Taurus. And your feelings, your emotions are justified just through you. So it's like you had to realize the facts, what was happening and how you were feeling with this person. Even if you wanted the best to work out, your feelings were still being damaged or your feelings were being hurt here, Taurus. So I have been through a lot, therefore I am protective with my energy. I know how deep my love can run. I know how extensive it is. When I start putting more and more into a person, that goes to show just how much I feel about them. So I need to cut back when I feel like my energy, when my love, my efforts aren't being matched here. So I have been through a lot, therefore I am protective with my energy. You may also have things for yourself, Taurus, if this person doesn't do that or this I'm not going to move forward and it's not an ultimatum it's more of just abiding by your expectations your standards and your boundaries so I have been through a lot therefore I am protective with my energy 
don't dismiss the red flags. The general message for you, Taurus, with anyone, anything you come in contact with or you encounter, but perhaps with this past person, there were some red flags or things that were questionable, but because you just heard about them or you didn't witness them, you may have just put it in the back of your mind, but it ended up being a hint or something that foreshadowed what was yet to come Taurus so this is something that you're doing more I feel like with protecting your energy especially don't dismiss these red flags so also with this person coming back to try to reach out or reconcile with you it's like you already know what they've done what they're capable of doing all right let's get into this person's energy Taurus I want to protect you. I never want to hurt you. So I feel like this is this person's energy here. And of course, them lying, them doing whatever they did to hurt your feelings or affect you, Taurus. You still hurt me, even though that was apparently not your intention here. This person could have definitely did things differently, approached something differently, told the truth from the beginning, whatever it was, Taurus. And this is not okay at all, but some people do do this, Taurus. Instead of telling you the harsh truth about whatever it is, they tell you a lie to protect, quote unquote, your feelings. So I want to protect you. I never want to hurt you. But I do feel like this person does feel bad about what they put you through or how something affected you because you, you were never deserving of that, Taurus. Then we're jumping back into your energy. Don't sugarcoat what's going on. Keep me in the loop. Tell me, even if it's not what I want to hear, so I could be prepared. Also, it boils down into self-respect or how do you see me? How do you view me? Do you think I'm just going to believe whatever it is that's coming from your mouth? I did at one point because I, I had faith in you, but because you thought that I would just take something and run with it when it's not credible, when it's not the truth at all that that goes to that goes to show me or tell me how you view me as so don't sugarcoat what's going on just be true just be honest you may be turned off by this person Taurus I always cared about you more your energy because you've been showing up with honesty authenticity like just wanting to love this person straight from your heart no um, hidden intentions, no uh, hidden motives here. Just out of love, you wanted to come together with this person. And I'm tired of keeping it cool. My feelings are much louder than that. So this person may have been dodging or not reaching out to you, Tories, because they know how things played out here. So this could be them reaching out, but it could also be your energy, Taurus. If you've been cool, calm, and collected, there's still a lot that you feel towards this person. So well, that's for my Tauruses who have been wanting to just let it out, Taurus, and let them know. The next card we have is right here. And let's go ahead and pull a few more additional messages, please, for Taurus. All right, let's go ahead and receive one last message for my Tauruses. Okay, Taurus, so we have our last couple messages here. First we have, I'm not asking for much, but I need to feel this is real. My thoughts are stopping me from coming forward. I'm falling in love with every bit of you. I'm falling in love with every bit of you. I want to hear everything you have to say. And last but not least, Taurus is new love is coming. So yeah, Taurus could be this possibility that this person is trying to get back with you, get in contact with you, but you're not, you may be open to what they have to say, but you're not head over heels like you were before. New love is coming. Someone else may have gotten your interest or you're just waiting on someone better or you know that there's better out there for you, Taurus, because this connection may have felt like you were going in circles with this person, but also with yourself because you want to believe the best, but this person isn't working with you. They're not being how they once were, Taurus. I'm not asking for much, but I need to feel this is real. 
do we see eye to eye? Do you really want what I want? Are you just playing me? Are you just leading me in circles as well? So I'm not asking for much, but I need some reassurance here. And also you wouldn't be questioning this Taurus if it if something wasn't up to par or if something was within your standards and your expectations. I'm falling in love with every bit of you. So of course you may feel this way about this past person. Could be this new person coming in Taurus and they make you feel seen, they make you feel appreciated and loved. My thoughts are stopping me from coming forward this person's energy because before that energy of reconciliation, it's like they knew what they did to help lead this connection to where it's at now. So taking, or in a way taking the blame for it, they're not afraid of it, but, or they could be afraid of it, Taurus, but I feel like it's just putting themselves in the spot and not the, not the best light here because they know what happened and I want to hear everything you have to say so having that heart to heart with one another um, you may feel like you need to get whatever it is off of your chest Taurus but I feel like there's this explanation from this person as well all right Taurus last but not least we have some signs for you we do have Capricorn for Taurus Leo Capricorn Leo and Sagittarius all right, Taurus, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.